Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog of day, and today is Monday the 29th, also known as Memorial Day, and today was a beautiful, gorgeous day. Um, woke up a bit too early, not as bad as it has been, but the dogs got me up early, had to give them medications and take them out, and end up with too many dogs here is what I end up with, to be completely honest with you. So, luckily, uh, a couple of them went home pretty early, I think 8.30ish, she showed up, 8.45, something like that. We finished doing a few other things, got around, uh, decided to head over to Orlando, to um, try and help out Karen's son with buying in some gas and some groceries and all that fun stuff. He's just kind of, he's in a bit of a spot. He's not, he's in a, I guess, social standstill in his life. He's not motivated. He has no drive to do anything. He says he does, but he really doesn't. So we went ahead and said to head over there. I took him some clothes because he needs new clothes and stuff. And thought I'll get him by a week or two. And I'll go back over. And if he's still doing better and still moving forward in the process and kind of following a the path, then I can go buy him some more clothes. Um, got there. Went and filled up his gas tank, which he lit up a cigarette on the way there. And he knows, I'm like, dude, if you can afford cigarettes, you can afford to fucking buy your own groceries and gas. And it's just the disrespect level is just insene there. Um, it was not cool. We showed the gas station with a lit cigarette. I got out of the car and walked I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? You got a lit cigarette in a goddamn gas station. I didn't know I couldn't do that. It's Everybody knows you can't do that. You're just, you're out of it in the world. So went ahead, he put it out, almost put it out in his gas cap door. Literally st started to stick it in the gas cap door. I said, what are you doing? He stuck it in the trunk gap and broke the cherry off. So it didn't, it was no longer lit, but didn't step on it. And I just drove me nuts. And then again, I tried to call him out for smoking the damn thing. And he drove from the gas station to the Walmart to go buy his groceries. He lit it back up again to continue smoking it on the drive over to the Walmart. Which just again shows the absolute level of disrespect and just no concern for us, you know, in the whole process. So I got to Walmart. Um, went in. I stayed out in the car with the dog. I had three dogs with me. So I stayed in the car with the dogs and stuff. And it was, you know, no way I could leave them in the car by themselves. So I stayed out with them. They went inside. Ended up getting like $92 to the groceries. They were in there for an hour and a half. Um, way too damn long. But he's just, he's he does everything. He's just not, he's not a fast motivated person in anything in his life and whatnot. So it took forever. Came back out. They got some stuff. Uh, he had like, he wanted salmon and scallops on his list. I'm like, dude, you don't get that when you're begging for food. You don't get to have salmon and scallops that's ridiculous but i went ahead they got some stuff came back out and literally i watched him put it in the car and i text karen because he was just throwing stuff in there with no concern to the world and then next like literally not even a minute later picks up the jug of water and smashes it to the side of the car pops the lid off and dumps water all over his trunk himself and karen and i just like really it makes no sense walks to the car doesn't say thank you doesn't say you know for spend your day spend your money that kind of stuff walks up and says you know you gonna go buy me some clothes now and i was like what the fuck? I'm like, we gotta go. I'm like, we gotta go. So I went back to the house. We tried to have a bit of a conversation. I tried to let it go and it didn't work. I tried to point out a few of the mistakes he made today and just the disrespect, asking Karen, so what's your plans in your holiday, your day off? And I'm like, clearly we're here taking care of your shit. We're not doing fun stuff. We're not barbecuing. We're not at the beach. We're not taking the kayaks out, doing things we should be doing, going on a bike ride and that kind of junk. We're stuck here fixing your crap, you know, and just the doesn't have respect, doesn't have appreciation for what we do for him and started pointing out a few things. Of course, he gets all defensive and starts getting all weird and it got really bad. Um, finally got to about 35 minutes of just bolt BS is all it was, literally just absolute BS. Finally got done with that. Um, we decided to leave, just got out of there, got back home, basically tried to put it behind us best we could and move on from it. Got back here, um, they came and picked up the two little um, chins, the um, Japanese chins we had. They picked them up, um, talked to them, wonderful people, had a great conversation with them. The dogs were kind of sad to see them go. I love those two little dogs. They're so easy to deal with. Like they just, they're awesome, awesome little dogs. Aside from the medication, that's the only thing that kind of remembered to give the medication, which isn't a big deal. I just set an alarm and that way I can't forget. They're not, they're awesome, awesome little dogs. So they went home. We still have Haley, which I have with me right now. And we have obviously Bruce still, but we're down to those two at the moment, which is cool. Um, just, I went for my run, got back, got cleaned up, got hang done, and just, I really was not feeling cooking. I was, I swear to God, man, just dealing with that kid literally just takes it out of you. Wore us down, both, whipped us completely, and I wasn't even feeling, I was literally so exhausted from that day, I wasn't even willing to go order food. I just went, drove to a Chinese buffet, and just pigged out on buffet food, because I didn't have to think about a menu, and I didn't order nothing, I just walk up and just put food on my plate. Had a great little meal, wonderful little meal, it was like 25 bucks, so not bad. Headed back home, chill a bit. It's like 9.30 at night. Like we're heading to bed. We're like, we're just exhausted. We we're going to go and watch some Netflix and that. We both were literally so exhausted. I just turned on a comedy special on Netflix and just rolled over and went to sleep. Like, it was that bad. Like, it was so exhaustingly tired. Just dealing with that kid just absolutely whips the hell out of you. Just wears you down and absolutely is just horrendous. Haley, no, you're not going over in that yard. But um, went ahead and just got that all done. And now we're just moving on with our life. 
And it seems like he says over and over again, this thing I can't get through my head, that I need to stop even trying to help the kid. Because every time we've had a conversation, I'm trying to give him advice, trying to give him pointers, he'll basically holler out something along the lines of, I don't need your help, I don't want your advice. But he wants my damn money. So I'm not really sure how he thinks that's supposed to work. Like I'm supposed to just give him money and not have a direction with this money to go. So you can just go buy more heroin or something. I don't know what the hell is up in his head. So it is what it is. But anyway, that's pretty much what we got for now. Um, it's a long day. It was one of the worst Memorial Days I've had in the longest time. I don't remember having a Memorial Day. It's just this mentally taxing. It absolutely was just pure crap, to be completely honest with you. I was grateful. I paid homage to those who have served and allowed me the ability to whine and bitch about this kind of stupid stuff. And I'm super glad I have that right and ability to do. But it sucks that I had to put up with that. So anyway, that's all I got for now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.